Aren't you teeny tiny? Oh. So the round yard itself is going to be a radius of 12 metres. Of course I've had no idea what's going on most of the time and I've, it's, it's about surrounding yourself with the people that do. And Field. They are all done in that one. Move into the next. You don't need to run. Teeny tiny. Oh. Turn it off. Yeah, they're looking good. Looking fantastic, in fact. Really, really happy with how they're going. Been pretty dry the last four weeks. Uh, we haven't had any rain at all. Nothing. Nada. Not a drop. Um, which it's yeah, it's summer, so we do expect that to have some dry spells. Um, Luckily, we put a fair bit of fertiliser on this, and this is underneath the pivot, so this is looking pretty, pretty rosy. Where they were, it looks quite dry and barren, but uh, we'll get the irrigator back going in there and um, put the fertiliser on and and get things going again. I haven't started feeding these guys silage, but certainly um, the other mobs that that probably don't that aren't underneath the pivot uh, don't have quite that luxury. How yeah, they're looking? Looking fat. Fatty, fat, fatty, fat, fat, fat. Good girls. So yeah, we can have them in a, in a really good state this this time of year and then um, when winter comes along we might start sort of backing them off a little bit, trying to make them not them try to make them not too fat for when they're about to calve, that uh, that can bring other issues on in itself. Too skinny, too fat, um, yeah, you want them just right. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we um, we'll do a couple more shifts of cattle, and then we'll go back and have a look at the dairy. See where um, yeah, see for a little update. Uh, you want to say hello? Hello. We are. It's all systems go here. The kids are watching. Ah, ah Rory, don't take it. Just say hello. Hello. Right, I'm going to move because there's a water truck coming. Oof. We have been, well, not me personally, but everyone else has, uh, mainly Paddy. Uh, Tim Padman has been here with his digger and a roller and his trucks, everything, trying to get prepped. This area here, and this will be, this will be the machinery sort of room. That'll be the vat room and then office, toilet area down the end there. So. He makes it look so easy. Put all the dry gravel down and now we'll put the water down and, and he'll flatten it off again just to try and consolidate it down. Here's the pit, the little digger, and they'll start doing some footings shortly. Are you okay? We're going to have a swimming pool. It looks like it. Yep. 
Conveniently, we have our little own gravel pit. Uh, so that's where we've been getting most of our gravel to put in the fill for the dairy. Super handy, super handy. Uh, we can get it all four hours of the day. Conveniently, Paddy also is the uh, loader of his own gravel. Okay, so this is an update, but this is also what the steps you take to get to where we're up to in building a dairy. Uh, first thing you need to do is engage with someone to find out who, who's gonna do the dairy project itself. Luckily for me, I found someone, Greg Stokes from DMI, great. And then the next process, is like to work out when you're gonna be able to build it, next process is to get some building designs done. So building designs for the dairy, and then also at the same time, do an effluent plan. So the one-stop shop, Sam Dingamance, he did all that, which has been great. Uh, it's way above me, and he's, he's just more or less doing it all. Once you've got all that together, then you've got to start doing some applications. So it's way, this is, this probably should have been done six months ago, oh, 12 months ago. Is a digger. Sort of rushing it through over the last few months. Then it's got to go through council. You've got to apply there. It's just the amount of red tape that you've got to go through to prove that um, you're not going to do anything wrong and you do everything by the book, all the engineering standards, surveying, um, yeah, all those sorts of details. So now in between all that, we do we did get a geotech out and they did some. Uh, sampling in in the dairy area itself and then for the effluent we were planning on having it in the front paddock here our effluent plons but they were not suitable so we're going over there where an old bush was it's a lot more suitable as it's sort of a loam over a clay and that is better for for a effluent dam in that it will seal it'll seal up so it won't let the effluent sort of go through the soil profile into um, creeks and waterways nearby. Now, so we've got all that done and more or less you could probably start now. Start the, start the preparations, I guess. I don't know what step that is now we're up to. One, two, three, four, maybe step four, and then you can start prepping. Um, and obviously our prep was demolition. We needed to demo the shed we've done that clearly because it's gone um, and now we are essentially prepping in the sense that we've dug dug a rough site and then we dug the pit out so once we dug the pit out we then put the this big pipe in so that big pipe then goes to the center then this center here is our drain point for the round yard. Water will go and muck will go in there and from the pit that comes into here and then out that way. So the big pipe goes out that way, it all falls that direction and then we'll end up getting a, what they call like a sump, um, 
I think it's about 25,000 litres we've got to have there and be able to pump it virtually every day uh, across over to the effluent ponds which will be across the other side there because this this ground here isn't suitable because of all the rocks and um, yeah, it's a bit too porous right so we've got that stage we've got that step and now you're calling the big guns and that's why I've called him Paddy and he's sorting sorting all this stuff out so he's brought down a heap of gravel and made that area pretty much level and then he's he's sort of fallen this area down into that sort of central pit there uh, and he's rolled that area because all that was fill uh, that we got from over there in near the river we've had to build all this area up probably about 15 meters so the round yard itself is going to be a radius of 12 meters so we'll go around here and he's rolled with a big vibrating roller to really push it down hard um, and then we'll we'll sort of fall that direction towards uh, there it is um, towards that center pit so we've been rolling this down as much as we possibly can because I didn't realize until Mark uh, the other guy that works with Patty was like well you've got to realize Josh that there'll be a lot of weight on this concrete pad I didn't think of it in that perspective he goes uh, well if you've got 300 350 cows on this one round yard and they weigh 450 kilos each which is probably about standard for a crossbred cow that is a 150 ton across this one concrete pad is a lot of weight so if we've got one end that this end here where we put all the fill and that's a bit soft that makes that sort of the weaker weaker side of it so we need it packed down as hard as we possibly can and i think we've done that now done a really good job it was vibrating and rolling around and so now he's grabbing more gravel just to put um, another bit of a layer on top of this uh, there as well so he's getting through it and he's doing a fantastic job as always oh Patty okay so then once we've got a rough roughly the levels that we need um, he does have a dumpy just up there at the laser level so he's he's just making sure going around with that big staff over there lying against the pole once we have all the gravel down and leveled and leveled in areas that needs to be level uh, we'll then try and roll it again as far as attack and then put in some drain pipe and conduit for electrical stuff and that's what that crusher dust is there that'll be put over the top of it and we'll have some drains from the vat room that will come into the pit so if there's anyone that ever ever starts milking and then forgets to hook the vat in the milk vat the milk will come into the pit and you'll see it when you're milking uh, it's a nice little fail safe that if you forget so once the and then once i guess all that conduit and drains in then we'll get um we'll get forming up some areas for for concreting i guess after that i've got no idea i guess the, i'll update what the steps will be from there I've, it's it's about surrounding yourself with the people that do and then trying to get them to do as much as possible and you trying to help where you can and not be in anyone's way or make things worse by making more work for them the other people that know what they're doing okay so that will do for today's video and it's just a little short one it's just more or less a bit of a step by step on what we've done so far and an update of where the dairy is up to uh hopefully next one there'll be heaps more things so we'll do a little bit of a date check what are we we're the 20th of feb and obviously there's a lot to lot to go and it'll be interesting to see how much we can get done but thanks thanks guys for watching uh like subscribe do all those those trendy things that'll help out uh help us out and uh i guess we can i'll get easier to help me say goodbye to everyone goodbye what you gotta be a bit more excited than that goodbye bye, bye. there you go good stuff thanks guys